knowledge. Knowledge. But if it's one word, one word's very hard for that, but the word is knowledge. But you get knowledge through experience. One of the things people talk about is luck. And I do believe that people are lucky and some people are luckier than others. I do believe that. But there's also an expression, the harder you work, the luckier you get. And I can tell you 10 instances where I didn't quit when it was 1990, the world was coming down, the debt markets were to everybody. All of my friends and enemies were going bankrupt. I never did. And the, but try, I mean, the times were actually just terrible. And even today, you look at times and you see what happens and you have to learn. But the word luck is very interesting. But if I didn't work really hard, I probably would not, almost definitely would not be here today. And unless you had me up as a man who at one point was successful, but let's see what a loser looks like. So you have to work hard because it is true. You can develop luck through hard work. Your first book, The Art of the Deal, begins with a, a simple sentence that many people might find hard to understand. You say, I don't do it for the money. Can you explain that? Well, I do it because I love it. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. I have bad days, I have good days, I have days somewhere in the middle. But the end result is I love what I'm doing, and I don't do it for the money. And I make money because probably I'm not doing it for the money. I do it, and I do it well. I'm the biggest developer in New York. I love building buildings. I have a lot of fun building buildings. The fact is, I do it for fun. I do it for game. I do it for sport. I happen to make a lot of money doing it. If I didn't enjoy it, if I didn't really love what I'm doing, I wouldn't be successful, I wouldn't be sitting with you today. And what's the implication of that for someone watching this who wants to create greater wealth? What's the message of it? Well, the message is you have to love what you do. If you do it for the money alone, it's probably not going to work. I have friends who I tell them, get out of this business, which is a good business, and go into another business, which isn't as good a business, because they like the other business better. They'll do better in a less good business, so to speak, than they will in the better business because they like it. Going against the tide is great if it works. Now, it doesn't always work, and you really have to be smart to go against the tide because you're going against a lot of smart people. But when you get it right, you'll end up better, whether it's Microsoft or Google. I mean, so many people that have really hit big have gone against the tide. But you have to have great confidence in yourself. You have to be the right person. There are very few people that can pull it off. But when you pull it off, it's great. Same thing in real estate. You go against the tide. People are selling. You're buying. The tide changes. Never, ever give up. Just keep going forward. Never stop. It may seem like you have no chance. It may seem like it's over. Never, ever quit. If you're a quitter, I hope you quit right now and stop watching immediately because you'll never make it. I've always believed in positive thinking. At the same time, I don't want to mislead. I also believe in aspiring, in terms of what you're doing, aspiring to protect against the downside. You can't just be this wonderful guy walking around, everything's positive, because unfortunately, that's not the way the world is. I love to tell people to think about the challenges so that when they do come along, you're ready. Let's suppose that I have a job but I have the feeling that I want to start my own business. How would I know that I'm the right kind of person for the entrepreneurial life? To me, that's the best question you've asked, and it's also the toughest. Somebody has a family, has a job, they have a nice job, they get X dollars a week, they don't have to worry about very much, it's not going to be great, they're not going to live in Palm Beach. But you know what? They have a job, and it's income coming in. The hardest thing to do, in my opinion, in business, is to leave that job and become an entrepreneur because you're risking your wealth, you're risking your family, your health, your family's health. You're really risking a lot. You have to know in your gut whether or not you have it to be an entrepreneur. Can you handle pressure? Can you handle all of the problems that you're going to be confronted with? And there'll be many, many problems. But the toughest job that somebody has, in my opinion, in business, is to know when to get out of something and when to go in something. Because that's a very, very risky proposition.